everyone, I'm Red Herring and in this video I'm going to show you how to locate your cervix. If you follow my channel, you're probably saying, but Red, you already did that video. I wanted to redo this video using the new props that I have so that you get a better understanding of how and where. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Please remember that we're all different. So our hands could be smaller, our fingers could be shorter, our cervix could be positioned in a different place than the next person. You might also have a retroverted or retroflexed uterus or a tipped or tilted cervix. Some people will be able to find their cervix just fine and others might not be able to reach it at all and can't find it at all. So the first thing that you're going to need to know is what a cervix feels like or may look like so that you know what you're looking for when you actually go searching for it. This is a model of a uterus and a cervix and please remember that everybody's body is different. Uh, somebody's cervix could be shorter or even longer. So you're not going to feel for this whole thing. The only part that is exposed for you to be able to feel is right down here. Your cervix is only about the size of the tip of your knuckle. If you fold your finger over and feel your knuckle right here, it's only about that big. A lot of people say that it feels like the tip of your nose. So the ball of your nose right here, if you put your finger on it and you wiggle your nose around, that's kind of what your cervix would feel like. It has a little bit of firmness. Also, you may or may not feel the indention to the opening of the cervix. A lot of people like to use the finger rule or guideline. It's not an exact science, it just helps you measure where your cervix may be. The only way to know exactly how high or low your cervix is, is to insert your finger and take note where your finger stops or when you can reach your cervix and where the opening of your vagina is located on your finger and then use a ruler to actually measure that. I normally just go off of an approximate. So if you insert your finger and you can feel your cervix, where on your finger did you feel the opening of your vagina? Did it only come up to the middle knuckle or could you insert your whole finger? Maybe you had to insert your whole finger, bear down and still push up before you could actually feel your cervix. You can check your cervix at different times during the month to see how much your cervix actually moves. When you're fitting yourself for a menstrual cup, you'll probably want to check your cervix while you are menstruating. This will give you a better idea of where your cervix is located when you are on your period. You might even want to check it from the beginning of your period to the end of your period at different points. Remember that your cervix might fluctuate uh, throughout your period and from one period to the next period. I personally like to have at least a couple different menstrual cups and a couple different sizes. It gives me an option when my cervix might be a little bit lower than uh, the previous month. You might experience these things too, so please take that into consideration. To avoid infection, make sure you wash any object that you place into your vagina, being your hand, your menstrual cup, a sex toy. You'll want to find a comfortable position. You can sit on the toilet or squat down on the ground or in the tub. This will actually roll your pelvis forward so that you can access your vagina and your cervix a little bit better. You can use some lubricant for this part if you have trouble sliding your finger in. Find the opening of your vagina, spread your labia, and insert a finger. So in this instance, I do have a higher cervix here, and I can insert my finger all the way in. If you're like me, you may have to actually use your pelvic floor muscles and bear down, pushing your cervix a little bit down so that you can actually feel it. If you have to do that, chances are you have a high cervix. Sometimes I have to bear down and still push my finger, my whole hand, like this to actually feel my cervix. So you have a high cervix or a very high cervix in this instance. 
if you insert your finger and can feel the cervix with part of your finger outside of your body, then you have a medium cervix. You can see here that the opening of the vagina is only at the middle knuckle of my finger and part of my finger is still on the outside of the body. If you insert your finger and just the tip of your finger can be inserted before reaching your cervix, you have a low cervix. You can see here that the opening of the vagina is right about to the first knuckle of my finger closest to my fingertip and the rest of my finger is on the outside of the body. I hope these props helped you understand how to locate your cervix a little bit better. Please leave me a comment down below as this is my first video using them uh, to let me know if they were a good visual for you or not. Until I see you next time, take care.